So how is it going guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and I'm kind of a bit late on this one. I wanted to talk to you guys today about the latest update to Fallout 4 being patch 1.3. Go over all of the new features, you know, general fixes and miscellaneous stuff that this update has brought to the game. Now, the update itself was officially released on the PC version three days ago, which is when I should have made this video, but Bethesda have stated themselves that the update is or was going to be released later on during the week to the console versions. And as of now, this is Friday. Um, I did check my PS4 earlier on today and it hasn't updated on the PS4 yet. So anytime between now and you know over the weekend is when you can probably expect the update to land to the console versions. So getting straight into this, let's go over some of the brand new features first. A lot of these do pertain to the PC version with some of them actually affecting the console versions as well. And starting off, we have a brand new added status menu for settlers in your settlements. This is something that of course would generally help with the settlement management, you know, being able to manage your settlers a little bit easier and hopefully this should definitely help you out in that situation another thing for you console users out there added the ability to rotate an object you are holding with the left and right triggers and pressing down on the thumb stick lets you switch the rotating axis once again uh, something for your settlements out there for you console users and hopefully that does help you guys out as well right there some brand new additions for you PC users out there, new ambient occlusion setting, HBA or plus for PC, uh, new weapon debris effects as well for PC and video cards, something pretty interesting there. And the final one is improved ESDF keys remapping support while in the workshop mode, once again there for the PC version. Some general gameplay fixes that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys out there will be interested in. Uh, one of the main ones is the Big Leagues perk, which now displays calculated damage correctly. Uh, this was an issue that a lot of people were having where it just wouldn't calculate the damage correctly at all. And it was giving people two impressions. One is that the perk was just completely glitched out and uh, wasn't working. Or two is that it wasn't actually displaying things correctly and with Thedstra have now patched that uh, so that should be fine from here on out. Something else that's been fixed that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys out there will be interested in is McCready's kill shot perk. I did actually say in the separate video I made uh, based around his kill shot perk itself and how overpowered it is that it would probably get patched by Bethesda at some point or another. Uh, Sorry down to the fact that it was actually bugged out and it was ridiculously overpowered and for those of you who don't know, McCready's kill shot perk essentially made it so that no matter the range, no matter the weapon, you would almost always get a headshot while in VAT. So just think about that for a second, how crazy of a power that can be in sense when using it in certain situations. And uh, once again, it was just very, very overpowered at the time. Well, Bethesda have now patched it and it shouldn't be as overpowered as it once used to be. Another perk that's been fixed is the second rank of Aquaboy, which now calculates properly as well. They've also fixed an issue where Vault 81 residents would not dismember correctly. I never personally went into this issue, uh, but just another you know general fix that they've actually mentioned on their patch notes. Companions can no longer get stuck with radiation poisoning. Once again, this is an issue that I never personally ran into, but it has now officially been fixed. Uh, some of the workshop changes is they've now fixed a bug that would cause cell accounts to appear incorrectly. Uh, something that you know some of you guys out there may have been affected by. Players can now build workbenches in their Diamond City house, something else that you know, some of you guys out there may be interested in. Diamond City house now shows provided power, fixed an issue with certain settlement attacks and not generating properly. Building wires no longer uses up copper, that's something out there that I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there will once again be interested in as well. Fixed an issue with crops appearing destroyed after saving and reloading. They've also fixed the companion always being down issue, which is very rare, but sometimes the companion uh, would constantly be in the down state. And even sometimes for me, especially on stream, uh, my companion was just like lying flat like a pancake, but running around at the same time. It was a very, very weird glitch that has also apparently been fixed. Fixed an issue where companions would ignore commands at workshop locations. Repairing items will now correctly consume resources as well as sellers assigned to weapon stands will now stand next to it. Now, aside from all this, there is many, many more fixes as well as general additions that you guys may be interested in. I thought I'd just throw in just a couple into this video today because reading the full list uh, will take some time. But if you do want to see the rest of them, there will be a link down in the description down below, uh, as you will see as well scroll throughout the video. Um, if you do want to check out the full list of the patch notes 
for this update. But anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Just wanted to give you kind of a general bit of information about this because I am pretty late on this, but uh, considering it hasn't made its way to the console versions yet, I thought it would still be worth making this video until it does eventually arrive. As always, if this video did help you guys out today or you did enjoy, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. The support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. I'm gonna try and get out a couple of top fives out to you guys over the weekend, including the one I did actually say that I was getting out soon, the top five side quest, hopefully coming this weekend, uh, as well as a few more videos that I do have planned for Fallout 4. But anyway, as always, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new around, and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.